Assalamu alaikum and hi. My name is Mama Arebinawi. I am from group 3. So, my friend and I have created a system which is cruise control system. So, today I will explain about cruise control system. So, cruise control system on automobile allow people to drive long distance with ease. Cruise control allow a driver to set his vehicle to a dozen to a desired speed and have it stay at the speed until he tell it to change. It eliminates the need to control the speed with the gas pedal. Automobile, automobile cruise control system is functional as an automatic speed control for a car. Thus, it maintains the speed of a car throughout a journey. So how it works? So after we release the gas pedal, the speed of the car automatically will reduce. Okay, for my part, I'm going to explain the simulation. The basic problem of cruise control system is to maintain the speed set by the driver or in other words, the speed of the automobile should, should match a preset value. The main disturbance to this constant speed drive come from the slope of the road where gravitational pull effect comes to the front and second in the wind resistance against the velocity. For this assessment assignment, we use the PID control for the cruise control system. As you can see from the block diagram, the PID is a controller and the feedback is the sensor. So we are using PID controller as a controller in our project. The value of P we put 3 the value for i we put 1.5 the value for d we put 2.5 and the value for filter coefficient we put 100 so for this one is a step input comparison with transfer function a step input can be described as a change in the input from zero to infinite value so this one is the step input comparison with transfer function when we change the final value to 1 so the graph will be like this RAM input comparison with transfer function the RAM function is a unary real function whose graph is sharp like RAM it can be expressed by numerous definition as you can see from the graph RAM input will be like this the graph where form will be sharp. Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Muhammad Nur Fazli bin Ahmad and I'm from group 3. Our group have a system which is cruise control system. So in this video, I will explain about the result of our simulator. I will set the stop time to 25 and let's see the result. After we run the simulation, so from the scope, you can see uh, this graph is under them, and from this graph, you can find the TR, which is uh, from 0 0.1 to 0 0.9. So I already moved the cursor to 0 0.1. You can see here 0 0.1 and 0 0.9. So from this uh, result, this range, we get 2.307 second for TR. How do I get uh, 0 0.1 and 0 0.9? Is uh, the final value is one. So I just multiply 0 0.1 multiply by uh, one. So I get uh, 0 0.1. Also, 0 0.9 with the same uh, method. We just 0 0.9 multiplied by 1. So, I got 0 0.9. Okay, to find the uh, T peak, you, you just adjust the cursor until you reach the maximum point. So you can see here. The maximum, uh, our maximum point is 1.5. 
uh, five three. So here we get uh five point two two seven for TP at the at one point one five three, which is uh VP maximum value. Okay, now we will find uh TS. So we will use the same method. Uh, when we find the TR, which is zero point nine eight for uh, TS, so zero point nine eight multiplied by one, so we get zero point nine eight. So we can just adjust the curve until we reach uh, zero point nine eight. Okay, here we get the zero point nine nine eight. So our TS is thirteen point four two four second. After that, uh, from this graph, uh, we can find the find the value. So we will use uh the formula which is maximum value one point one five three minus our final value is one. Yeah, one. So uh over final value times hundred. So the calculation is 1.153 minus 1 over 1 times 100. So from that, we got 15.3. From the simulation, we should we got 15.698%, which is a slightly different with the calculation. So finally, uh, we will find the uh, steady state area. PSS, uh, which is the formula is desired value minus actual value, which means input minus output. So our input is 1 and our final value is also 1. So from this graph, we can see that the PSS or steady state area we got is 0. As a conclusion, the original cruise control system designed by TTOR and deployed on lead model Chrysler in the 1950s has become a very beneficial thing for the society. With a look at the real world Dodge Stealth system from the 1991, it's simple to understand how much digital control plays a role in vehicle speed control now. Adaptive cruise control is projected to become more widely used as a computerized control technology advances. The possibilities of what such a system can accomplish appear to be practically endless. If every automobile on the road could one day be outfitted with, with adaptive cruise control, we could live in a world with far fewer traffic incidents than we ever imagined imaginable. While cruise control was created as a comfort or convenience feature, it may someday be used as a safety tool that transforms the way we drive our automobiles. Okay, that's all from us. Thank you.